HTML injection attack on buggy web application. So what we are going to learn here in this video is we will learn here about what is HTML injection attack on web application and then I will show you that how you can perform HTML injection attack on a buggy web application. So the lab setup is the similar to the previous one. Uh, we have Matili Day available in Kali Linux and we are going to perform HTML injection inside Matili Day which is available in Kali Linux operating system. So please open your Kali Linux operating system and uh, open Matili Day. So I'm here at Kali Linux operating system and uh, I have al already opened the Matili Day inside my browser. So here it is OS Matili Day and uh, now we need to perform HTML injection attack. Okay. So I will first of all I will give you a simple example and then I will show you a different one. So first of all uh, you can select 2017 OS, select SQL injection and then you can come down to insert injection and click on add to your blog. Click on that. Here it is. So now you can see here that I can use some tags inside it. right? I can use some HTML tags etc and I will try to perform HTML injection inside it. You can see here that there is only one blog entry inside it. So I will try to uh, insert some more commands uh, by using HTML injection. So let me show you a simple example that how it goes. So how HTML injection looks. So do one thing. Uh, for example, uh, if you have a login page or if you have a comment box and uh, you are trying to insert HTML tags if it executes it means there is an HTML injection problem right for example uh, let me try with h1 right and uh, I'm typing my name Sunil and then I'm closing this tag all right so if it appears as it is then there is no HTML injection but if it basically executes this HTML query inside the comment box it means there is an HTML injection so what will happen basically it will basically increase the font size of the word and it will show inside the comment box so just type inside the comment box of and then you can type the query and click on save blog entry so let me click on save blog entry so the command has been executed let me come down and here you can see that now it is showing you my name and you can see the font size is increased and uh, it means that HTML query has been executed properly. So there is a very simple meaning that HTML injection is available in the website. Now let me try with the second one. I'm decreasing the font size using H2 and now I'm typing my name and then closing the H2. All right, click on save blog entry. And here you can see another comment, but it is smaller than this one. This is the first one. This is the second one. Let me try with H3. And again, you can type Sunil, then is 3 All right, click on save blog entry. And here you can see this is the smaller one. So uh, this is the biggest, bigger, and you can see this, this is the smaller one. So here you can use HTML query. If I try to insert some more pages or any other link or any other link of a website, I can use this blog because it has SQL injection and HTML injection vulnerability inside it. Let me show you another example. So here it is, right? So this is a simple HTML code, right? And what I am doing is basically I am trying to provide a link of this website inside that page in comment box, right? So this is a website. This is a sample website provided by Acunetics company, and uh, we can use this testing website at any uh, place so let me do one thing let me copy this and uh, let me open the multi day again and paste here right so HTML tag open then head open then title and inside that I'm giving a link of a sample website and I want to provide a link inside the comment box which is illegal right you cannot provide so let me click on see blog entry and here you can see that it is showing me a simple link inside the comment box, right? So if I click on this link, what happens? So it basically it is showing that uh, it is referring to another page, right? 
so guys uh, for example if you want to directly link this web application to a web page so you can also do this so again i'm using the same example and let me try with http colon slash slash right so i'm providing complete url and uh, hopefully it will redirect to the particular website all right so do one thing uh, click on say blog entry all right so here's the first entry let me click on this and here you can see that it is directly redirecting to the one web website provided by Acunetics company so here you can basically link any phishing page right you can also provide a fake page to the user so when user will click on that so it will redirect to any other fake pages so uh, this is the problem available in the website or in the web application that it has SQL injection vulnerability and HTML injection vulnerability so let me go back right so uh, you can provide any link you can provide any kind of HTML link inside it and this is called HTML injection attack so this is all about SQL injection and HTML injection attack and uh, in the next video I'm going to show you that how you can perform SQL injection attack on a live website using SQL map tool inside Kali Linux so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.